So we're here at uh, Linaro Connect, and uh, who are you? I'm Joachim Beck, the tech lead for Security Working Group. So, uh, and who are these other guys here? These are the guys in my team, and this is uh, Jens. Jens Wicklander. Uh, I've been working in the uh, Security Working Group for, well, uh, four months now. Uh, I'm doing uh, ARM Trust Zone stuff. Uh, working with the uh, ARM trusted firmware and uh, also uh, uh, LRT uh, trust zone monitors. So uh, the security working group uses, uh, for example, trust zone. Is it just part one part of it, or how does it work? Uh, it's one part of it. Uh, trust trust zone is fundamental for uh, secure world. Uh, the, trusted execution environment that we have there. All right, and? And our guys are the team members from ST, and this is Pascal. So Pascal Brand, I'm working for ST, my crew, I was in the Linaro team, signee for about uh, two months now, uh, working on the TE, on different parts of the TE, uh, the non secure and the secure part. What do you do? Okay, so I'm Cédric uh, Chaumont and uh, I work for ST Microelectronics and I am uh, uh, Linaro's assignee in the security working group for two months as uh, Pascal. I'm working also on the TE and the trust zone aspects, monitors and so on. So, so uh, security, that sounds uh, pretty important, right? It is. So, uh, how do, I mean, uh, does it work? Is it possible to have security? It is possible, but you have to be careful. Uh, as we can see, there was a, as late as today, there was a bug in, I think it's GNU TLS, uh, visible on LVA. So, uh, uh, yeah, you shouldn't need to hide things, but you have to be careful what you're doing. And so, uh, is it based on, uh, like, uh, like encryption, a lot of encryption all over the place? Is that how it works? Yeah, encryption and uh, hashes, HBACs and such. You protect, you don't protect things by hiding things, you protect things by using keys instead. So it's possible to do open source and secure, right? Yes. And is the best way to do security is open source? Absolutely. Absolutely? Yes. All right, the NSA doesn't have access to anything and they probably have access to it anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So c could you say a little bit more about uh, uh, specifically, what do you do every day, for example? Uh, yeah, currently I'm, I'm working on uh, a secure monitor for uh, our TE solution. And uh, yeah, de debugging and, uh, and stuff. And uh, can you say a little bit more about the, the ARM Trust Zone tr and Trustonic? What is Trustonic compared to ARM Trust Zone? Trustonic is one uh, TE vendor, a commercial one. And uh, basically, they have also a, a TE, but uh, well, we are doing an open source one. And uh, so, so, what do you do every day, for example? Uh, yes, I mainly focus on the TE trust zone part, so yet yeah, I would say it's uh, more development and, uh, and uh, also we try, I would say, to uh, figure out how it would be integrated in the ARM trusted firmware and so on, what are the impacts and so on. Okay, we try to have some discussion here in Linaro. Uh, so, okay, yeah. so what kind of discussion is going on? What, who's saying what and what goes on in discussions? I mean, this is one of the few opportunities we have every year where we meet each other. So we have, before this connect, we have created a bunch of items that we want to go through basically and discuss. And it could be a simple problem, it could be a really hard problem to solve actually. So, and, but the main goal is to make some patches and create something actually. So we don't end up with going home with the same problem again. And so you discuss uh, not only you four, right? You discuss with a bunch of other people? Oh, yes. We have, uh, we have had discussions like the work Jens is doing with ARM Trusted Firmware uh, to align with the ARM guys. And uh, yeah, a lot of different companies that are interested in open source tea in general. So. 
And so where does security go? Is it, uh, wh where is security needed in the system? Yeah, as you've been into, it's uh, openness. People want to be able to see what's happening. And then we have uh, their DRM schemes, I mean, the, the different uh, content providers. They, are, they want to be able to protect the content, basically. And as resolution gets higher, they have more uh, demands that it should be secure, basically. And then you have uh, online payments, you have online wallets, I mean, there are quite many different areas where it's interesting. And of course, Secure Boot, that's where we're involved in. So Secure Boot, it means uh, you get a, a, you can update your OS and securely, or you, you boot up the machine and it knows it's for real, it's not snooping on what you're doing, what is it? Yeah, the main idea is that you should, you should be able to trust that the code you're supposed to running is the one that is actually is running. All right, so, so uh, uh, how many people are working on, on this part in Inaro? The boot part? Uh, yeah, for example. The boot part is we have one guy in our group, security working group, and he is working with uh, the enterprise group, and they are a handful, five, five, seven, eight people, something. So, uh, so what do you think should happen in the future? What's the most important? The most important thing for us right now is to get our T solution visible for the public. And that's our main focus right now. And how long time is that going to take? What do you say, Pascal? <laughs> <laughs> I would say that if we are optimistic, uh, we could say two, two, three months to have an early version. And uh, then we can add, uh, let's say, three months to have something more stable and uh, that can, everybody can use on uh, v 7 yeah. All right. So, uh, anything else you would like to to add about Linear Connect? What's going on? What's going on? A lot of things. I mean, <laughs> 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 there is a lot of uh, let's say interesting people and a lot of informations and uh, requirements. Okay, so so it's interesting and uh, it seems tough. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you.